Next we'll look at the new Builder 4 input object. We've got two up the top here, a text and a number one. So there are different types of input here. There's the normal HTML types like text and number but then there are four new builder types as well. There's a scroll which allows us to put an, an array in here, a JavaScript array that you can then arrow up and down through. And then there's an auto number which is great for giving invoices numbers. Just move this out into the middle of the form. And now let's change the input type to date. Now we've got to pick a date format as well. So, we refresh that. And then now it allows us to put a date in, a date format. So, we know what the number one does. We'll look at new scroll. Okay, so here we add a JavaScript array. Use one, one, two, three, and the word four. So put that in there, we'll refresh that, and the background changes for new scrolls as well, so that you know you can arrow up and down through them. So, an auto number. So we'll set this next number on this auto number to one, two, three, four. <clears throat> yeah, close that now. Refresh the page again. And so we we'll go brand new number. It's only gonna work, it's only gonna increment if it's a new record. So there we go. Well, it's a decimal place I've tried to save it to with four decimal places, but apart from that you get the gist.